I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, gonna try a little side project here while I'm working on some other things. Um, hopefully simple. I don't have any experience with this, so it'll be a nice little test. But uh, we've had this shed here pretty much since we got to the property. It was one of the first things we did. But um, it's hard to tell from here, but it's got a gabled roof. And we've never really caught any water off it. So we've uh, recently gotten some rain barrels. Uh, you can kind of see over there. But, um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna start with one side and I'm gonna try just with a vinyl gutter. I'm gonna try and attach a gutter and catch some water off of this roof. Uh, it won't be a lot, but uh, it's not very big. It's a 10 by 12 shed, but um, it'll be enough to help with some cleaning of some things or watering some things or even adding water to the compost. So, which it always needs out here. That's one of really the only problems we have with the compost is when it gets dry, it doesn't, it doesn't cook as well. So we find ourselves adding water a lot. So anywhere we can get water to add to that is great. So. I'm gonna give that a try. The first thing I'm gonna do here is up along the top here. On the inside, there is a little metal strip that I can screw into, but to give myself a little more flexibility, a little more, a couple more options, I'm gonna install basically a, a little poor man's fascia board, basically. Uh, I'm gonna take some old uh, pallet strips and I'm gonna try and tack them up here into that metal piece. And that'll give me something a little wider uh, to attach the gutter to and a little more, uh, flexibility with my attachment points and things. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is try and put a little fascia board up here. I'm not an expert again with gutters. I think fascia board is the right terminology, but um, that's what I'm gonna try and do now. There's my fascia board. <laughs> so now it's time to attach the gutter. So I showed putting the fascia board up. So here's the gutter. It's just vinyl. And we put these little clips on it every two feet. So I'm just gonna attach those to the fascia board now. Just need somebody to hold the other end. I haven't filled in the intersections, but or the the screws in between, but I think that should be about it. A slight slope down and I may make that longer just so that doesn't have to drop into there but this was really just a test to see if I could do it and I want to see what happens on the next rain. 
so I can play with that downspout and maybe even throw our lids for these rain barrels. So maybe I put the lid on. They don't have holes in them, so I'm gonna have to cut a hole in the top of one of those, but we'll see. But I just wanted to see if I could catch it and get it coming out here. So uh, to put a cap still on this far end and cut one short piece for this end and put a cap on this end, all coming into that one spout area, downspout. So I've measured this last little section here from the downspout out to the end and I've got 20 inches. So I'm going to cut 20 inches of this other piece of gutter off to use for that and I'll just slap a cap on the end. They just slide right on and they've got some, some little foam insulation to go between the two. Uh, so I'm going to cut a 20 inch piece that should fit right into there. I'll just need one hook to hook it up and it'll connect to that downspout kind of to support it on the other side. So that's really all I should need. There's my 20 inch piece out to the end. the finished product as you can see like I said it is a gabled roof and ultimately you know I want to catch off of both of these sides and maybe you know have the one come down this far side and maybe come together back here in a Y or something to catch it all right here but this having no gutter experience this was just an experiment for me to see if how this material worked if I liked how it installed if I liked how it works so I'll give this a couple of storms and watch how it works uh, I might play with that downspout like I said to get to this rain barrel but um it was fairly cheap so i just wanted to give the equipment a try see how it installs see how i like it see how it works but uh there it is i'll admit i i eyeballed a few things but i mean it's a really short run it's only 12 feet um, so it doesn't need to drop a whole lot so i just kind of eyeballed the drop but uh, here's a look from up above you know it secures with these with these clips they say every two feet what I found actually was that the material, it's just vinyl. So it kind of, it bows a little bit between these clips. Um, so I actually threw an extra screw just to, because the, the water will drop right here and potentially it looked like there was the potential that it could actually miss the gutter because it was bowing out so far from the, from the surface. So I threw a couple extra screws in just to keep it up tight so that the water will actually fall into the gutter. But I mean, that's what it looks like from up above. There's not a whole lot to it, which is nice. And if it works well, I'll either add on to the other side and bring the two together in the back, or maybe do it again if I haven't done a good enough job. But like I said, it was a fairly cheap and easy experiment to give it a try and see how it performs. So I'll let you know after the next storm. Another look with the rain barrel in place. Like I said, I may have to play around with that downspout. Uh, you know, it might fall in just like that, or it might not. Um, maybe I should make it longer. Uh, maybe I'll put the lid on the rain barrel and cut a hole in it. It doesn't have a hole in it, but again, this is just an experiment to see. Um, or actually, as far as that drop, uh, for that rain barrel really to be useful, that spigot down here should kind of be all the way at the bottom. And for it to be useful, that would want to be up probably on a pedestal to be able to get a bucket under it or something. So I probably need to raise that a good two feet anyway, which would bring it right up under that downspout. So uh, maybe that'll take care of the problem, just raising that up on a little platform because that's where I want it to be to get access to the water really anyway. So we'll see how it goes.